Today we're going to be making a roasted tomato and peach salsa and canning that uh, for our pantry. Good morning. I'm out in my garden this morning. I'm going to be making my salsa and I decided to come out and pick a couple of jalapeno peppers. These are the jalapenos. So we're going to start today by <clears throat> measuring out two pounds of peaches and two pounds of tomatoes. Okay, there's two pounds of tomatoes. All right, there's four pounds of peaches and tomatoes. I did two pounds each. So we're gonna start off by just, these peaches and tomatoes have all been cleaned. I'm just gonna start off by cutting each of the peaches in half. Just inspect them and we're gonna put the skin side down and we're gonna put them in a broiler pan. I was gonna try to get this done yesterday and my day just got away from me. <laughs> It happens sometimes. So I may have to do this in two batches. I didn't want to use my large oven. I wanted to use my small tabletop oven, but we'll see how much we can get in here. I'm going to cut these uh, jalapenos in half. I'm not going to take the seeds out at this point. I'm going to go ahead and just cut them in half. Same thing. I'm going to put them seed side up. Um, so this recipe calls for uh, red peppers, jalapeno peppers, and uh, red onions as the main staple. So I am just going to, these are Jimmy Nardello, these red peppers, they're not hot peppers. So I am just gonna cut these, put these around these peaches. These long ones I'm gonna leave whole. So along with the two pounds of uh, tomatoes and peaches, it calls for a red onion or a medium yellow onion. I used some of my Jimmy Nardello's. It requires one red onion, which I took a couple little pieces off this, but the rest of it I'm just gonna go ahead and cut into, I think, eights. I wanna get as much of this broiled as possible. So I've got some red onion here. I'm just gonna put this on the tray. Now all we're gonna do is put our tomatoes on here. I'm not gonna worry about peeling them or anything else. All I'm gonna do is take out the core and cut them in half. Skin side down. We wanna get a little bit of roast char on our fruits and vegetables for this particular salsa. And these are tomatoes that are fresh out of my garden. They are delicious got some better boys and I've got several varieties of tomatoes that I did this year and I mean I actually had a really good harvest I was so happy and I believe me I fight the squirrels every year they just they love whatever I have in the garden we have orange groves behind us and it's always a battle with the squirrels it just drives me crazy but even with the squirrel, squirrels getting their share, we still got a lot of tomatoes. Well, I should say, I don't know why I always say we, it's me that does all this stuff. All right, so I've got my tomatoes and my onions, and I've got my peppers and my peaches ready as soon as my oven's preheated. I almost left this out. Oh my goodness. We gotta have four cloves of garlic. So all I'm gonna do is just cut these garlics in half and just throw them on the plate here. We want these to roast just as much as our other vegetables. This recipe calls for three quarters cup of bottled lime juice. I'm gonna add some fresh limes to my lime juice. I just think it'll make the flavor much more flavorful in the, in the salsa. And there we go, I'll add the bottled lime juice to the rest of that. Are you enjoying this video today? If so, will you give me a like or a thumbs up or share this video with someone you think might be enjoying it as well? I'm gonna try to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year. And at the end of the year, if I hit my 10,000 subscribers, I'm gonna be giving away a brand new Presto canner 
to uh, one lucky subscriber. So if you're interested in, you know, being part of that drawing, please subscribe today. Send me an email to homesteadpatch63 at gmail.com. And I will go ahead and put you in the drawing. And if I can hit 10,000 subscribers, we all win. So my peaches and my peppers are all nice and charred. They look beautiful. So I'm gonna leave these to the side to cool and I've just put my tomatoes in. In the meantime, I'm gonna cut up, uh, well actually I wanna clean first. I wanna clean my cilantro and then I'm going to chop up this whole cilantro. Now we're not gonna add the cilantro until last, but I wanna make sure that I can get it nice and clean. Look at the dirt that comes off of that. I don't know if you can see that. Some of it's little pieces of leaves. I'm gonna dunk it again. I'm gonna chop up your cilantro. Now I need three quarters of a cup. I've decided to put this whole head of cilantro in because it's a, this is an herb I just really love in salsa. It's just, I actually love it in salads. It's one of my favorite herbs. Uh, I wish I could grow it year round in the garden, but it just gets too hot here in the summer. But I can grow it, you know, in the late winter, early spring where I live here until it starts heating up. Then for whatever reason, it just bolts. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of roughly chop this. I'm not gonna chop it up to death. I wanna be able to get bites of, sal of uh, cilantro in my salsa. Okay, my peaches are cool enough to handle at this point. And the recipe says to go ahead and just roughly chop the peaches, the tomatoes, the peppers, so that you have the char and the skins on. We're not going to take any of this off at all. It really made the peaches, I mean the smell in here is amazing with between the peppers and the onions and oh my goodness I'm just going nuts here. But anyway we're going to just lightly chop these and then we're going to, the tomatoes are almost done and I just checked them. We're gonna go ahead and as soon as these are done, I've got my pan heating up here and we're gonna put all of the items that we've we've uh, charboiled. And look at that one, <laughs> beautiful. Said to leave all that on. That's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of put some of this in here. It actually made a lot more juice and I'm gonna to continue to cut, chop, chop, chop. And I'll bring you back as soon as we get the tomatoes ready to put in. If the smell is any indication of how it's gonna taste, we're in good shape. Okay, I'm gonna keep chopping, but I'm gonna add my three quarters of a cup of lime juice. I'm gonna add uh, four teaspoons of kosher salt and two tablespoons of brown sugar. And I'm gonna let those start cooking while I finish cutting up my vegetables. So my tomatoes are done, and I'm just going to, same thing, I'm gonna lightly chop these. They're still pretty hot, so I gotta be careful. These onions and tomatoes just smell out of this world. Oh my gosh. Now I have to do these in small amounts because there's so much juice in this that I don't want it all over my counters. That just ah, smells and looks so good. Wow, delicious. All right, so it's simmering right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my timer for 10 minutes. So I did decide to go ahead and uh, use my immersion blender. I actually just pulsed it about five times and I'm glad I did. I like this texture a little bit better. There's still some large peaches, pieces of peaches and tomatoes and onions, but it got rid of, it made it look more like a salsa. 
Okay, so this has been simmering for 10 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and add the cilantro and just stir that in. And at this point, I'm gonna start canning my jar. This is supposed to make four pints. So I'm just gonna ladle my salsa in the jars. To this, we're gonna use, we're gonna leave a half an inch of headspace. I went to the store yesterday trying to find some baked corn chips. I found organic, I found gluten-free, I found everything except baked. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bake a few corn chips myself. I don't really want any, uh, I mean, actually I might air fry them, we'll see. But while these are canning, I'm gonna get some corn chips in the oven and then hopefully I'll have a small amount of this left. I can put it in a small container and have some for a little snack so we can try this. All right, let me wipe the rims. I'm also gonna make sure there's no air bubbles in here. I'm just gonna give them a quick little stir. Exactly like they said, four pints. All right, we're gonna go ahead and just put our, our rings on. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these back in the canner for 20 minutes. We're gonna boil them for 20 minutes. In the meantime, I'm gonna cook up a couple of corn chips and we'll see if we can give this a little taste test. So I decided to air fry my chips. So I have some nice tortilla chips here and let's do a taste test of our salsa. I've got a nice chip here. I didn't salt these or anything because it looked like it had quite a bit of salt in my salsa. Let's give this a try. I'm gonna try to get a bite of peach and I don't know, I'll just take a bite. <laughs> Mmm. Oh my gosh. Mmm. That's one of the best sauces I've ever had. Mmm. So I have a lot of tomatoes and a lot of peaches. I think I'm going to go ahead and make a double batch this afternoon. This, this is so good. Oh my gosh. The flavors are just, you can see that. Mm. 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 Not giving any of this away. <laughs> well, <clears throat> thank you for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Thanks for coming along and canning this salsa that I've made for the first time. All this time I've had peaches off my tree and I've never thought of making this fire roasted salsa. It is so good. I mean, probably one of the best things I've ever canned. So if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing to my channel. Give me a like, a thumbs up, or ring the bell for future notifications and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.